guys this is Val and welcome back to Val's Kitchen guys all you all dreaming I hope you all are having a wonderful night or day wherever you are guys what I'm gonna be doing today I'm gonna do oxtail pasta right oxtail pasta so I'm gonna carry along with me and show you what I'm gonna be doing it something you know really out of the box right so here are my stuff that I'm gonna be using. I'm oxtail, I'm seasoning. Right, I don't clean the oxtails as yet. I'm gonna clean them up, right? You know, I have to cut off some of the fat. Fatty fatty when I want so much fat, you know, and wash it down properly. You can use vinegar, you can use lime, you can use lemon, anything you have, you can use it, you know. So here's here are all my ingredients, guys. Have some scallion, have a piece of thyme, dry thyme. I don't have the fresh thyme, so I'm still gonna use this. The pimento seed, I'm gonna use a little nutmeg, grate a little nutmeg. Have onion, sweet pepper, garlic, ginger, guys, ginger, right? I'm gonna grate my nutmeg to give it some flavor and tenderize it. You know, have some black pepper. We have to have a little salt to taste, no care what, right? Have a little soy sauce. I'm going to recess the share and I'm going to wash my meat but I have my pasta in there guys but I'm going to look about the meat first right when I finish seasoning the, um, when I'm finished seasoning the meat I'm going to show you the pasta the ingredients that I'm going to use for the pasta all right yes but I'll put the meat first right I'll cut off them fat fat something here. Don't want all of these. Alright. That's a uh, fat fat. The fella the meat is still like this. <laughs> when you buy them you know if you follow for cut off with a guy's a pear you cut off left pear bone. You cut off everything and leave a source of bone. But you still have to get rid of some of the fat, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Just buy it in my. All of them not have a whole heap of fat still, you know? Some of them, some of the pieces, they're not too bad. See them there? They're not really bad. Okay, I want. So I'm gonna wash them down nicely. It's three and a half pounds in a but you know by this done cooking up. Nothing to leave in there. By this done cook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Finish clean up this guys and then wash it down and come back and look about the seasoning that I'm gonna put on it. Okay guys. Nice to wash. So it's ready for the seasoning. Okay. So I'm gonna blend my seasoning, All right? So I make sure it's a place cleaning up because I can't do skin and things that are dropped on the counter, the cutting board, everything has to be clean, you know? So, see? Then up a nice seasoning here guys. That's a little piece of pepper. Nothing, nothing. You know, the pepper just a little it's a little piece. Just a little flavor, you know. Wow, everything I drop. It's okay though. Alright, so nothing. Pimenta seed, six pegs of garlic, and the garlic, but never be too big. Look at that in there. Alright, so. About two tablespoons of mushroom soy sauce. And I'm gonna use it. It's about a half tablespoon. It's a half tablespoon, it's about. Yeah, about a teaspoon, a tea, one teaspoon when <laughs> it finish. <laughs> mm. 
All right, so I have a little black pepper. It's a small amount. We need a little salt. About a half teaspoon of salt. As I say already guys, it's three and a half pounds of oxtail. All right, three and a half pounds of oxtail. So we want to season it up nice. We want the right amount of seasoning to get the right taste and the right flavor. All right. A nice lovely seasoning guys. Upstill seasoning. Proper thing, you know. Mm. Taste all my seasoning guys. Taste. Wow, wow, wow. It's so awesome. Oh, it's nice. It's sweet. Guys, it's sweet like sugar, man. Nutmeg flavor. Garlic, ginger, pimento seed. Oh, all works in a guys. Yeah man, I use my season guys, I look at 10 fingers man, I look at 10 fingers 20 times. <laughs> then for some of my supporters, them taste my, my, my cooking and I can't wait, you know, if I don't have bless me certain way, you know man. I can't wait guys, look at this, look like you can eat already, don't it? Oh my god. Uh. Yeah man, some of us are going to make this a little, you know guys. Not a long time, you know. I you see the season alone with the honey, it's not escaping. Yeah. Always. Right? Start the ball and roll, guys. Look at this. Look at that. It's so pretty. Wow. Yeah, man. Season with love. Season with love. Yeah. Guys, I'm just going to put a little. That's a small amount, just a grease the pan that's got fat. That's it don't really stick. <laughs> the oxtail is fat, so we don't need a lot of oil. Alright guys? So, you know, this is kind of heat. Heat up a little and then we we'll put it in. Put in the meat. Kind of brown them off. Yeah. Just kind of brown. Part of the, the video that this part of the cooking, cooking of the oxtail, this part is the most important part, guys. If you don't start start of the cooking of the oxtail like this, you don't get a perfect oxtail. Nice gel gummy nicely. Come on, me show you. You see? Nice and nice guys. So start it out this way. Don't put it in the pot and just dump down the water on it. Let it get the season. Just make it get the season together. You see it, guys? Just have a look of patience when you're cooking, guys. You understand? Yeah, man. It's coming up. I've already poured the water in as yet. Good. These are my ingredients that I'm going to be using for my pasta. Right? I have uh, every cream. I have this is mozzarella cheese. You can use any cheese of your choice. Alright, guys? This is the Eve Penny Pasta. You can use any pasta you love. Alright guys, I'm going to have my little seasoning. I'm going to use the garlic, honey, and just nice up the thing. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Yeah guys, yes. Stay with me man. Keep company my guys. Yeah man. So guys, what I'm going to be doing now, the next step now guys, add some warm water. And I'm going to finish going off the meat guys. I'm still going to burn them out. I'm going to put some water just to cover the meat, just to cook it. Right? Let me show you. I'm going to have the season left over here now. So I'm going to put the season in it. So I'm just going to. Cover our meat, right? It's not like we're cooking soup, you know. This way, you will get a, like you're cooking hot, like slow cook. You understand? You don't want to boil it. Yeah, it's like a slow cooking. It's same. You still get that nice. You still get that nice gummy flavor. Oxtail when you finish cooking it. Don't put a lot of water. 
don't boil it guys do not boil it still all right yeah. so guys we we'll have some onions here just gonna anything you're cooking guys just flavor your pot man flavor your pot guys flavor of the pot i'm gonna flavor my, my, my pasta nice later guys i'm gonna flavor my pasta nice Seasoning, but I don't know how you cook without seasoning. Unless, no, 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 I don't know. Tell me, guys, if you cook, if you can cook your food without seasoning and it's nice and it tastes good, savory. Just tell me down in the comment section, guys. And tell me. So I'm just gonna get my nice onion, garlic, and sweet pepper together. Come and show you, I'm gonna put it together. Oh, my pasta, guys. Have some water on the fire, right? Have some water here. Have to make the water warm. Don't put your pasta in the cold water, right? I want a little salt to taste, right? Want a little salt, just to flavor our thing in it. Just one pot. But a small amount, you know. So I'm just, I'm gonna use two pots. And I'm going to use just a little cooking oil just to, step, just to keep the, the pasta separated that's a little stick together, alright? I'm going to stir it, make a little stir and half cover the pan let it cook until tender guys. Don't overcook it because you're going to finish cooking. Just kind of cook it now. Partially cook it. Alright, alright? Nice already, you know, man. Look, me. Ouch. Ouch. Alright. Here's where I reach. The oxygen is cooked. We just turn it down now and let it eat and let it go and eat it kind of cook them properly. We want a nice rich gravy. I'm gonna add uh, some beans. I'm gonna have to taste the pot in there, guys. I'm gonna taste your pot. I'll cover down this and make it go and do its own thing. Put my custard. I'm ready to cook nice and I'll bend it not too soft, not too saggy. The right texture, guys. Come we don't finish cooking that yet, you know. I'm gonna use a little butter. Saute my vegetables. Come on, I want a flavor, I want a nice flavor for the pasta, you know, guys. I want a nice little flavor. So, have a nice of the pasta. Want the flavor to come out from the veggies, guys? It's nice flavor. It smells so awesome. It smells the garlic and the onion, the sweet pepper. Yeah. Put in our uh, cream. You can use anything of a try to not guys. You have your cooking cream, you have every cream, any cream, anything you want to use. Alright, you can use it. Let me shake, give this a shake and see. I'm gonna use about two cups. And now 
Ano ba ang skater? So, I'm going to get this together, guys, and come back, alright? Some black pepper. Cheese. Oh, nice cheesy pasta, guys. Nice and cheesy, creamy. Anything I'm cooking, I'm going to put my hand on my foot in it. <laughs> Put my hands and my feet. Yeah. It's coming on, guys. It's coming on. It's coming on. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Who want some? Guys, look at this. Yeah, all right. Separating some of the meat from the bone to put in the pasta. I gotta do your chicken pasta, your shrimp pasta, but this is oxtail. All differences, this is oxtail, okay? Yeah, we're gonna have some of our bone. And guys, you think I throw my bone? When I get done, another bone, I see. Hey. See it also how fun and that is? And then juicy. Put this our pasta here, guys. Let's get the separate these and come back, okay, guys? Some juice. We need some pieces of oxtail to you know, big ones too, you know? Yeah. We want juice guys, juice, juice, juice. Guys, if we're not gonna taste the oxtail and taste this and taste the, the sauce, guys, it's so awesome. Try my best mess up my pocket and try. We want the juice up, we don't want to stay too long. Dry down too much, we want a lot of sauce. Guys, oh god, man, oh my god. Now stay too long and I can't turn off now in Look at this oxtail pasta, Val's Kitchen.
I don't even remember saying I never do any outro. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for watching. I can't wait, guys. I can't wait. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Please subscribe, guys. Give me a thumbs up. See you all in the next video. And bye.